podcast. My name's Dana. My name's Dominique. And I just knocked over my water bottle. Dominique, how are you this week? I'm okay. Solid. Living the dream, <laughs> as they say. Breathing the air. How are you doing? Good. Good? With a hard shrug. With a hard shrug. That's mm-hmm. the, that's about the time of the year that we're at, isn't yeah. it? Working on mental health. Always. Always. I started therapy. Good. Making steps to a better me. 2019. We're proud of you, Dana. Thank you so much. Do you want to just get into the interview? Let's just get right into Let's the fucking thick of it. Let's just get into the nitty fucking gritty. Let's go there. We have a very cool, very hip guest. Do we? I think so. I think so, too. Who the fuck are you? <laughs> My name is Kelsey Volk. Hi, Hi. Kelsey. Hey, welcome. What do you do? What do I do? Um, well, I guess the main reason I'm here mm-hmm. is because I play music and like sing and stuff. Okay. How long have you been doing that? Oh my. Okay, so I've been singing since I can remember. Okay. Um, but guitar started around age fourteen. Okay. Yeah. What inspired you to play guitar? Okay, so I was really in like the thick of my who. Obsession, like okay. in love with Pete Townsend, like one of the nose and the, and um, I was watching a performance of Pinball Wizard on the Tom Jones Variety Show on YouTube, and just watching Pete Townsend like play the like the opening chords, I was like like I filled with emotion, like swelled and like my loins were like on fire, mm-hmm. and I was like I want to be able to do that. And so I went out to the kitchen, I asked my parents for guitar lessons, and he my was parents... sexual awakening, <laughs> and they were just like, I need to learn guitar. <laughs> this is hot. <laughs> Pretty much. Pretty much. And, like, they were all for it, and little did I know, my dad wanted to take guitar lessons with me. Aww. Yes. Father-daughter. Yeah, father-daughter bonding. And it's strange, because we've never done anything like that before. We don't bond. Like, mm-hmm. me and Papa are not... Yeah. Like, we, I call him by his first name. So, there you, you know, that was one of those things. And then my guitar, our guitar teacher at one point said, like, I need Kelsey in, like, a separate lesson because she's a little bit better than you. And she's, <laughs> learning, <laughs> she's learning a little bit faster than you are. Mm-hmm. And my dad was like, no, okay. And Aww. then, yeah, so that's how guitar started. Oh, very sweet. Very sweet. So that started when you were 14? Just about, yeah. How long was it um, before your guitar teacher was like, all right, Kelsey's picking up the pace a little <laughs> bit faster, we gotta... Well, let me see, I think it was in, was it seventh grade? So it was around seventh grade, so I was like 13, 14-ish, mm-hmm. like end of seventh grade. And then I guess it was around, probably like when I started like high school, like freshman year, he was like, yeah. You're a little bit faster. Mm-hmm. And I felt terrible, too. Because my dad, like, really wanted, like, he was trying. Right. But also, like, he worked some a people full... Just, yeah, but also full, some people are just better than Yeah, and, but, you know, other like, instruments. Like, not to be a dickhead or anything, but he's an older man. Yeah. So, and, like... And he has other things fun. to worry about. E- exactly. Course. And, like, you, you'd learn a lot slower when you're older and stuff. Yeah. Your and, brain like, is still forming. Yeah. <laughs> and so, like... And you were stoked about bad, it. Cause, like, yeah. He really, yeah, and but so was he. And so I, like, broke my heart, like, kind of. I don't know how to express that. So it was, like... Like, he stopped taking lessons because, like, he got, like, a temporary promotion and stuff. Mm-hmm. But, like, he's, like, my number one fan, so that's good. Aww, right? Of course. That's Thanks, Dad. Awesome. We love you, Dad. <laughs> T.Y. <laughs> Do you currently have any projects that you're working on? Do I have any? You know what? I just quit my job. Yeah. So I have a lot. Join the club, baby. <laughs> High five. <laughs> Unemployed. <laughs> love it. Um... So I have a lot of downtime these days, um, but like with my job, I kind of did not have any time to do anything, mm-hmm. and when I did have time to do anything, I didn't want to because I was so like emotionally exhausted, yeah. just done. So like now that I don't have that on my uh, shoulders, it's kind of like mm-hmm. I have so much more time to do things that I kind of let go to the wayside. So really my main project right now is like to start writing more songs again, because like okay. it's been a long time. Yeah. It's been a very long time. You just posted something on your... You posted a song on your Facebook that was very, very good. Thank you so much. Yeah, it was inspired by quitting my job. <laughs> I figured. And since I know you personally and, like, I know the situation, right. I kind of was, like, giggling, like, while I listened to it. Right. And I was just like, 
I was like, yes, bitch, bite them, like, <laughs> fuck them. <laughs> and, like, the cool thing is, is, like, you can write something like that without, like, overtly, like, saying who it's about. Yeah. yeah. But the fun thing is, is that I definitely put in, like, a huge hint about who it was into the song. The mm-hmm. one lyric has, like, half of the company's name in it. Does it? It does. <laughs> Which, what part We'll is? do some digging later. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. Yeah, so, like, that's good. Like, it's encouraging. So I'm hoping maybe I can just get back into the swing of things and then actually, like, make plans for an actual project. Yeah. So, one step at a time. We love that. <laughs> yes. Um, I'm going to take you back okay. a little bit. Okay. Going back in time. Okay. I want you to describe your life at 18 and compare it to how it is now. Wow, life at 18. Well, I had a different boyfriend yeah. mm-hmm. with the same name as my current boyfriend. Yeah. But I called him by his full name. Okay. Mm-hmm. So, like, like uh, his name was Michael. So okay. I call my current boyfriend yes. Mike. Okay. But, like, I can never really max- miss up the names, you know? <laughs> <laughs> but I was dating another boy for, like, and I started dating him, like, a week after my 18th birthday. Okay. So there's that. Mm. Um, I guess we could say, like, if we're going back, like, to April, April 3rd, 4th, mm-hmm. when I was 18, uh, I guess I got something, too. Everyone okay? <laughs> no. Amber alert. <laughs> That's what I thought. <laughs> Everyone's safe. No issues. Just so. coincidental text messages. <laughs> Carely coincidental. Wow. So I had a, a an old like a, a different boyfriend. Mm-hmm. I was going to a four year school. I had just come back from a trip in Europe in the summer. Oh. Ooh, fine. And yeah, like it was. I went with <laughs> I went with Air Bruner. And uh, Mr. Leffler. Oh my <gasps> Mr. goodness. Mr. Leffler. I remember, did they only do that trip once? I think so. I remember them in the works of that trip. He handed me an invitation because like, it was a very select few guys. Yeah. An invitation, right? And I was like, well, fuck this. Like, I can't afford to go to Europe. <laughs> whatever. So, like, I tucked it away. And then we were, my parents and I were at someone else's house. Uh, and her parents started talking about this trip that she was going on. And they were like, oh, shit, that's amazing. I was like, oh, yeah, I was invited to do all that, but we can't afford it. My parents like, yes, we can. Aww. And so, like, that was my graduation present. Aww, like, I didn't get nice a party or anything, yeah. but that's what I did. You went to fucking Europe, man. Yeah, I went to Europe, so, like, that's so much better that's than so a graduation crazy. party. Yeah. yeah, God Experience bless. Experience over a party, a party? Mm-hmm. <laughs> with, like, two friends. And that's all of the family that you don't talk to, and they're like, Ever? I don't even know your middle name. Like, <laughs> still party in French. Did you go to France? I did not go to France. I went to Austria, Germany, okay. and Switzerland. Which one was your oh. favorite? Oh, well, <laughs> I loved Austria. Like, Vienna. Yeah. Mm. But Switzerland was lovely. I'm sure. I would imagine Like, so. the, Like, my favorite memories probably in Switzerland, because, mm-hmm. like, we swam in, like, a man-made lake, like, in the Swiss Alps. Oh, my God. Like, okay. Like, is that life? All right. That's a, we had to so climb up a shit. hill, like, this the cute little ladder thing, and then you go down this trail, and there's this big, like, little open, like, little lake. It's a little tiny pond type thing. You're yeah. catching, like, baby frogs and tadpoles and stuff. That's and, like, you know, just, tale. like, the Alps with, like, the snow caps oh my and everything. Goodness. Yeah, we were just chilling, like, wow. with Mr. Leffler <laughs> in the pub. That's, that's, that's like a fever dream. <laughs> yeah. yeah, my history of rock and roll teacher was there. <laughs> That's just like a dream that you have where you like wake up and it's like that like blue twilight color and you're like covered in sweat and you're just like, holy shit. Like, I think I'm in love with this. (laughs) (laughs) Oh. Speaking of Austria, you and I had the same music teacher in um, elementary school. Mrs. Joint. Mrs. Joint. She's the reason why I want to go to Austria, because she's so fucking cool. Is she Austrian? No. Yeah. Yeah. No, she's... No. Yes, she is. She's... Well, uh, she, she might... She told us that she was from Austria. I think maybe she's got, like, Austrian heritage, but she's from England. She told us that she was from Austria. Oh, What's the deal, Oh, my God. Joy? No, this We're one unveiling. was definitely British. We're if you unveiling. go onto her Facebook, it says, like, London. <laughs> <laughs> We're unveiling something right now. certainly not from Austria. <laughs> What's the deal? <laughs> she literally 
Lily told us that she was from Austria. Why isn't this charging? Julia Is it on? Joint. Technical difficulties. Was she a good music teacher or was God, it just good like, at being on One of the British? best. No, one of the best music teachers. If not the best music teacher I've ever had. What grade was this? Elementary school. Oh. So all of elementary school. She was the she music was teacher. The right. Yes. Did she have her own classroom? Or did she have she her had own her own classroom. She had a music cart. She went, I think, to, um, like, for a little while. She did, like, the traveling thing and then she had her own room. Mm-hmm. And then we traveled to her room and stuff. Right. But I was in chorus and stuff. And I they had an Omni chorus, like Omni kids who chorus. could fucking sing, right? Were you in the Omni chorus? Okay, wait. So I wasn't at first, and I mm-hmm. knew that I should be. Right. I just knew that I should be. Right. But how do you go about asking that, like, at, like, eight years old? Like, Mrs. Joint, I can sing better than anybody in this regular chorus <laughs> should be featured. So one day in, like, music class... She gave solos to everyone. I was like, this is my big break. <laughs> Literally, like, this was going through my head. I'm like, it comes to my solo part. I, like, belt this shit out. Like, belt it. And she, like, she was like, Kelsey, see me after class. <laughs> and I was like, okay. So I went up to her desk or whatever, and she's like, I didn't know you could sing like that. She's like, I would like you to join, like, the Omni Chorus. I was like, <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm like, I'm not that good. And she was, and I was an Omni Chorus. We got to sing at... Mrs. Crow's wedding. Oh my god, I remember that being a huge thing. Yeah, I that was me. All oh things bright god. and beautiful. Oh my god. All Why creatures great and small. I remember her yeah. like wedding being in the following year's yearbook. Probably yeah. Yeah. It was like it had a whole page and that like every child from our school was there. Yeah. Like, <laughs> that's yeah. adorable. Yeah. I think I even went at, or no, I went to my second grade teacher's wedding. Who was your second grade teacher? I don't remember her name. It started with a P, though. Miss Pagano? Maybe. <laughs> Who cares? <laughs> I don't know. I didn't have her. <laughs> <laughs> but she was a super sweet teacher. No, my third grade teacher was the one who, like, made me absolutely hate who? school. Mrs. Oh, Strauss? Oh, shit. I don't remember her name. She was Mrs. a Strauss? second grade teacher who moved up to a third grade teacher or like something like that. I don't know. She like changed grades that year. And Oh, I thought you had like a realization. I, I was thought just like, I did. you're gonna say it. <laughs> She's like, was Miss Strauss the lady with the sty in her eye? Was that Miss Strauss? There was a woman I think Miss Strauss Oh, there was I don't want to say, because there was one third grade teacher who had, like, like red hair or whatever, and I don't want to say that was her. But then there was, like, a second grade or a third grade teacher. She had, like, a like a cropped haircut, and she had brown hair, and, like, glasses that, like, had the fucking chain around her neck. Like, Classic. scary type yeah. shit. That's Miss Strauss, I think. That was Miss Strauss. I think so. Because I think she had, a, like, a scary name. Miss yeah. Strauss. Yeah. My third grade teacher was Miss Hoyt, though. Oh, I remember her. Yeah. I didn't have her, but... Yeah. Anyway, moving on. <laughs> so, this Throw was back to Westover, circa 2003. <laughs> what comes to your mind when you think of home? Oh, wow. Uh, a specific smell, actually. Mm. Yeah. When I was Could you still, describe it? Yes. When I was still in college, like at Albright, uh, I came home at one point after a long time of not being home and like going into my room and I remembered my room smelled like what my mother's room in my grandfather's house smelled like when I was a child. Really? So like like a very like old bookish smell, like okay. a very like warm smell. Mm-hmm. But it was very uh that was strange because like I don't you know, like you walk into your house, you don't smell anything. You walk into like someone else's house and all of a sudden they've got like that distinct That's smell. Right. right. I'd I never, loved. I had never smelled my house before. I'd never smelled my own scent. You've forgotten it. Yeah, I had for, totally. Yeah. I'd been in a dorm room and shit. Oh my gosh, it was like crazy because like it was such a familiar scent. Yeah, it was like my mom mm-hmm. almost. But mm-hmm. I was like, but mom's not sleeping in my bed. Yeah, but, but she's just you like know. lingering. Right 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 no, I yes. missed you. No, no, no definitely <laughs> not my mother. <laughs> no way. There's no way she would have slept on my futon. <laughs> on your was that your bed at the time? You had a futon bed. Yes, and I still technically do have a really? futon. Really, they're very convenient. At my parents' house, I have my old futon, basically like the one I'm sitting on now. 
Um, and then at my apartment now, I have, like, a futon that we got from BJ's. Mm-hmm. But it's very cool. I love BJ's. But can it's I so just, cool. Like, because you can, it's like a couch, and then you can take the back down, and then it turns into a kind of like a, like a, almost like a full. And then you can pull the bottom out. It's like a trundle, and it turns into a fucking queen. Oh, and my then you God. Can, while it's still a queen, you can, like, click the back up, and, like, it's on, like, a lounger. Oh, my gosh. That is so fucking nifty. Yeah. Oh, God. I want to get rid of my bed. And by that, go to I BJ's. think, wow, I think you just converted her. <laughs> oh, my, oh my God, can we end the podcast now so I can go? Like, <laughs> Yeah. Sounds like some Ikea shit. Yeah. Ikea BJ's. Crazy yeah. shit with their furniture. BJ's. See, the reason I found out about how, what my childhood home smelled like, because I moved in with my dad. Right. And then over time, like, every time I walked into my mom's house, it was like the smell of hairspray, mm-hmm. but also like humidity right <laughs> but it's like a night it's like ah uh, like that's like, like you know that it's smell. yeah it's like fresh but also yeah like, yeah yeah and it's like the, oh yeah it's mom and like mom just like permeates like throughout the house yeah like, yeah <laughs> i wonder what my smell is gonna be in my house when i'm a mom it's hopefully a good one yeah right like and it's a good thing that like my house like people don't come in and say like Oh, your house smells like shit, and like you think Hope that they, not. you think they would that we've got like four cats. True, they I have mean, their own room. They have their own room. Yes, wow. the cats. Yeah, the cats and the dogs. They get fed in this special room, and that night the cats get locked up. Mm. So they're not just like being assholes. Yeah, <laughs> that's smart. <laughs> <laughs> um, do you have any hobbies besides your music? Besides my music, um, no. No, <laughs> not that I can think. Oh, you know what? I like to read. I haven't really been reading, so like it's not something I would call like a current hobby. Mm-hmm. Right, but it's always like it's, when you find the time, yeah, where you could pick up a book. Exactly. And get invested I would. I'll read. Yeah, I like to read. I like to. Um, I like to write. Like not just music, but like stories and stuff. Oh, that's really neat. Yeah. Are you into poetry then? The in-between of stories and and songs? Poetry is interesting for me because I don't follow like like a proper scheme or whatever, but right. also, like, what I like, I don't want to be, like, a rupee car type. No. Very, uh, annoying. I know. Like, I know what you but like, mean. Almost, <laughs> but almost, like, it's almost conversational, like, the right. way I write. Like, just, like, just, like, fragmented. Right. Basically. And a lot of it, especially, I find, like, when you speak. Yeah. It, like. Yeah, the, like. Yeah. I think, it, yeah, probably if, like, I would classify it as anything, not that I would ever perform my poetry but it probably is written in like a spoken word type right slam way right it's all about the emphasis yeah ex- exactly exactly <laughs> like the one word right out here out yeah. here <laughs> exactly <laughs> what is a skill that you wish that you had not so much like a skill but i wish i had more um like motivation, I guess. Okay. Um, like I would like, I always said this about like I could be like top of my class if I applied myself. Mm-hmm. But fuck it, like, and I think um, like my grandfather, like my uncle, the one time he was like, like oh, Grandpa Al thought like he was a genius or whatever. Like he knew he was smart, and so he didn't think he had to do anything about it. And that's basically my attitude. Mm-hmm. And, like, my boyfriend's attitude as well. So, like, I'm so glad we found each other because he's like, why do I have to do anything? He's like, my like my idea is basically, like, I'm, not to say that I'm a genius or whatever, but, like, I'm smart. Someone will recognize that. Mm-hmm. I don't have to do anything about it. But, like, obviously that's not how it works. Yeah. And so I'm trying to get out of that. If I had... If I had, like, uh, to, to choose a skill, it would be to, like, motivate myself and apply myself. Mm. Learn that drive. Yeah. Yeah, because, like, I could do a lot yeah. if I applied myself. Mm-hmm. I think it just comes down to really, like, figuring out what would make you the happiest if you fully applied yourself. Mm-hmm. Like, with the music and right. writing or whatever it is. Right. Like, find out your like creative or right. whatever but you know it's also like really tough like <clears throat> with music and stuff because like how do you even do anything at all at this point because yeah. like youtube you can't like that's over like everybody's yeah, over everybody's it's... got a million views like yeah. congratulations views, right? like what's facebook facebook doesn't do anything it's like billions of people 
<laughs> See, it wasn't scary. Our cats are singing. <laughs> What was I saying? I don't remember. Me neither. Um, but yeah. That's <laughs> Do you have a saying or a conversation that you've carried with you from your childhood into adulthood? Hmm. It's going to help shape how you view the world or what That's you an do. Excellent question, Dana. Thank you. Wow. Uh Holy cow. <laughs> you can take your time. Yeah. Um, honestly, this one was actually pretty brutal. It was not, I wouldn't say recent, but I think I was like a junior in high school. Okay. Fucking, um, I hung out before school in Mr. Guadagnino's classroom. Okay. I don't know if you guys, he was like, like my dad. Like, I fucking loved that guy. Like, my best friend. And at one point I said something about something like, like, oh, like, fuck computers, like, I'd rather, like, write things, like, on a piece of paper and all this shit, and, like, I think I was talking about how I, I used to hang out in the library, and I used to go through the old yearbooks, like, all the mm-hmm. way back to, like, 1926 shit, and at, and at one point he said to me, he, like, really abruptly, he was like, he was like, you need to get over it, kid, like, he said, he was like, you need to get over it, kid, he was like, the past wasn't that great, and I was like, what? Yeah. And, like, later, like, I left, I was like, okay, bye. And, like, later on in the day, he was like, are you okay? He was like, I kind of feel like that, like, kind of got to you a little bit. I'm like, I am okay. Mm -hmm. But, like, it really did kind of set me back because so much of my life was, like, romanticism of the past. Mm -hmm. Like, everything. Like, past that I wasn't even a part of. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And, like, I used to think that I was a hippie. Mm -hmm. And, like... For the fucking record, there's no such things as hippies anymore. Like you, like you're not a you're yeah. not a hippie. No. It's gone and passed. It's gone. <laughs> you're not a hippie. Like if you think that you're like a free spirit or whatever, like for more the whole like you're whole not a you. yeah. hippies is a specific like, yeah, like yeah. Time. type of people. Yeah. Yeah. Hippie yeah. is a time period. Yeah, it's like, <laughs> exactly. And like you notice, like when's the last time you actually saw like a hippie that would have been a hippie in the '60s? You don't, because they got over it. <laughs> or they're yeah. so burnt out that exactly they're like living in California because they can't be anywhere yeah, that's not cold they like either us. got over it or like they're deadheads yeah or just dead <laughs> like, or just or dead, just dead. <laughs> not to be a dickhead but I used to think I was a hippie and that's my point is that like the 60s I would never want to live in the 60s no no, no, what no, I know no. Exactly. Are you kidding? Are you kidding? Like, of course like ooh the music yes what I wouldn't give to be a part of that but at the yeah. same time no but that's character progression. Yeah, right? That's... I, I Yes, exactly. And that's that's what I think it was. It was that. And it was like, it wasn't that great. Yeah. And I was like, well, what the fuck you? But now yeah. I'm like, that, it that's really kind of, wasn't Like that your wake-up call of like, exactly. oh, why am I... Yeah, like there's no... I there's focusing on the past. No like, better time for me to be alive than like right now. now. Yeah. So like, let's do that. Yeah. Exactly. Let's do that. It'll only keep progressing. Yeah. yeah. Hopefully. We hope. <laughs> <laughs> fuck. So, what makes you lose hope in humanity? <laughs> um, just one thing. Just <laughs> what's called apathy, blatant apathy. Like, I uh, left my job because of that. It didn't seem like anybody seemed to care except for like me and Dana's mom. Yeah, we're dealing. Kelsey with- worked with her mom. Yeah, <laughs> I worked with Dana's mom. Like, um. We were working with human beings. Not only that, but we're working with, like, human beings who cannot take care of themselves, who yeah. cannot yes. um, even advocate for themselves. Right. Can't even recognize if they're being exploited, abused, or neglected. Yeah. That's my, that was my job, was to advocate for them, to make sure yes. that none of that shit happened. And I saw a situation where it was headed into a very negative direction. And I tried super hard to, like, get the help and the proper whatever needed to take care of one of my clients properly. And it just seemed like no one cared. And I just didn't understand. I'm like, I'm, like, contacting people within the company that I work for. Mm -hmm. And, like, our mission was to, or their mission is to serve the disabled population. 
But, like, every step we took, it was just blatant, literally, like, okay, well, we'll send someone out there. It lies and, and twists no, and turns. And no one, no one comes no one out. Mm-hmm. So, like, that's the type of shit where I was, like, losing hope. And then, like, just, fi- like, losing hope in everything. Not even yeah. just, like, any, like, humanity, did you say? Or yeah. whatever? Yeah. It was everything. I didn't mm-hmm. want to do anything. And, like I was saying before, like, I didn't have the emotional energy to do anything. So, like, yeah. just seeing other people not care about, you know, just other people in general. Things like, the, the only true thing worth caring about mm-hmm. is other human yeah. beings. Because right? without that, what else, what do what you, else exactly, is there? Exactly, what is there? <laughs> Lately, I've been in a position where someone in my life lacks empathy to the fullest extent. And is just so apathetic mm-hmm. towards everything and anything. And it's just, like, very emotional, emotionally draining. Mm-hmm. It's physically draining because you're trying so hard to, like, get them to care. Mm-hmm. And then it's just, like, a slap in the face when the door slammed in your face. Mm-hmm. And it's like, what the... F- like, I don't understand how people can just, like, care so little. Right. But when it comes to, like, your situation... Right. A corporation that is... Uh, in the bottom line, just corrupt. Right. Like, right. no one cares. It's all about money. And, like, and I don't understand. That's that. Like, it's how not can human you, lives. Like, how can you not care if, like, you, like, definitely, like, they go through, like, audits and stuff. So then that makes me think, well, then are the auditors just, like, they don't give a shit either? Yeah. Or are they not looking? Are these people really good at covering things up? Uh, What's happening? And then <laughs> what can I do? And yeah. that's what makes me lose hope because, like, it's so much bigger than I am. Yeah. Like, your mom is the fucking classic. Oh my god. Let's move on. See me and Diane in the headlights. <laughs> really, really trying to Marching. go for it. <laughs> <coughs> Switching the topic back to your childhood a little bit. Okay. Growing up, yeah. how is your relationship with your parents and how does it compare to now, now that you're living on your own? Um, my relationship with my parents, I guess, was, like, anybody else's, um, like, an average Mm -hmm. thing. Like, my father, like I said before, I call him by his first name. My father was not close with us. Like, the big joke was that, like, like, Jerry doesn't love us. So, like, the (laughs) one time he was dropping my brother off somewhere, and my brother was being a dickhead, like, just totally, like, baiting him. He was like, Dad, I love you. My dad says, get out of the car. And he's like, no, Dad, just say it. Just say it once. Because, like, my dad does not say I love you to us. Mm-hmm. It just doesn't happen. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's not to say that he doesn't love us. Yeah, like, as a disclaimer, like, thing. motherfucker shows us, like, every day that he loves us, but, like, mm-hmm. will not say it. Um, but he's like, get out of the car. My, my brother's like, Dad, please, just tell me you love me. And I was like, shut the fuck up. Get out of the fucking car. And so, like, that was, like, the kind of relationship yeah, I had with my father. Yeah. Like, the first time he told me he loved me, I think I was a junior in high school, and he had just dropped me off at the airport, and it was over the phone. He's like, all right, I love you. I was like, wow. I literally, like, pulled the phone away from my ear, like, in the airport and, like, looked at it. I was like, I was like, love you. like am i gonna die now like the world's and very strange but my mother on the other hand oh boy very complicated relationship Mm -hmm. with her um love her to death really do like it would never like say like hate my mom yeah um but like definitely a complicated one because like she was the one that like raised us we're like my dad like came home at six or whatever and he was home for dinner and stuff but like Everything we did, we did with, like, my mom. Yeah. Like, we went grocery shopping. We did everything with Mm -hmm. my mom. And she also didn't take any bullshit. So, like, I had friends who were afraid of my mom or whatever. And, like, they just didn't get it. Yeah. Like, I understood. Like, she is Mama Bear. She's like, yeah. And so, like, she did not take shit. Like, people didn't come over to, like, Mm -hmm. have sleepovers and stuff very often because, like, is Kelly gonna yell? (laughs) (laughs) And she very well may. Yeah. Um, but now things are definitely better because I'm not living with yeah. them. Like, my dad and I have been getting closer and closer as time goes on. I think he's kind of... I'm figuring out how to talk to him <laughs> more yeah. than he's figuring out how to talk to me. Um, but my mom relationship so much more calm. That's good. Because, like, she was, like, a lot of yelling. She just yells. Yeah. And, but I also found out that she always expected me... Are you ready for this? To be a little bit poor. <laughs> what? what? <laughs> uh, 
So I was talking to her about my roommate and how, like, the pressure she feels from her parents and stuff. Mm -hmm. I'm like, you know, like, you guys always wanted us to succeed, but you never, like, put, like, a monetary, Mm -hmm. like, expectation on it. She's like, no, like, I always expected you to be a little bit poor. I was like, like, just me? Like, Matt, too? She's like, no, you. (laughs) She was like, Matt will go without eating if it means he can buy an Under Armour shirt. She was like, you don't care. You go to thrift stores. Like, I can see you at the, like, the, the soup kitchen. I'm like, what? Like here I oh I told my boyfriend over there like she's like I can see you living in a dumpster <laughs> just because you like it yeah, <laughs> no that and that's what she said yeah she's like, just because like you like that stuff yeah okay and I told this to my boyfriend and he You'd be goes choosing to live poor he goes he was like well it would have been nice for her to tell you this like a lot sooner because like all of your issues like like with school and getting a job or whatever has come from thinking that you're disappointing your parents. If anything, I've exceeded <laughs> <that's> <laughs> <right>. <laughs> so, That's what my like, Mom, I live, I live in an apartment, not a dumpster. <laughs> right? Like, aren't you proud? I'm only up and up. That's... <laughs> Sorry, that really got me. <laughs> <laughs> got me too. <coughs> what is something that someone can do to make you lose all respect for them? Holy cow. That's tough. Because, like... I'm a people pleaser, Mm. so, like, but respect, like, I guess, like, just blatant disrespect towards another person, Mm. like, pretty much that's what it is, like, I've had, I have friends who have friends that, like, I cannot, like, I have no respect for them, like, whatever, I'll tolerate them, I'll be civil, like, when it comes down to them as, like, a person, I have no respect, like, if you're gonna tell me that this person, uh, like, found this girl's location and then went and, like, drove someone there to her house to jump her or whatever. Like, no respect. Yeah. Whatever. Like, even if you, te- like, take it back the next day, you're like, oh, actually, no, she wasn't there. Mm, no, it probably. It doesn't matter. Probably. Like, <laughs> yeah, it's like, it doesn't matter. Like, you put thought into doing that. Mm-hmm. Like, why would you maliciously do that to someone? Like, talk. Here's Use something. your words. <laughs> Use your words. <laughs> Use <Yeah>. your words. <laughs> and it's just like, and, like, my roommate's old roommate. Mm-hmm. Like, they can't have dogs in... We can't have dogs in the apartment or whatever. Mm-hmm. But, like, this girl had this dog in the apartment while my roommate was, like, in Europe and had already told her, like, no. Oh, my God. So, like, when I texted the girl, I'm like, hey, I'm coming by to play with the cats because this girl was allergic to cats, mm-hmm. right? Come here to play with the cats. She was like, okay, well, I need to be here because, like, I'm babysitting a dog. I was like... Mm-hmm. <laughs> you can't have a dog there? And, like, my friend's in, like, Greece. So, like, do you not, yeah. like, that's just, like, basic respect. Yeah. When there's a lack of respect, I can't respect. Like, that's my thing. It's yeah. Like, I that's agree. what it is. That's what they can do. I agree. Yeah. 100%. Yeah. Um, if your pets could talk, <laughs> give me a rundown of what their personalities would be like. Holy cow. Okay, so, we have, this is actually a question I can answer pretty quickly. Um... But you know what? Maybe not. <laughs> Some of it might be offensive. <laughs> um, no. Okay. So Kenobi, my cat Kenobi. I don't know if any of you have any of you. If if either of you have seen <laughs> cats, anyone like <laughs> Daisy? <laughs> have you are you familiar with these cats? Oh, have you ever seen cats like the musical Cats? No. no. Okay. Well, Kenobi, I equate okay. to Rum Tum Tugger. Now, Rum Tum Tugger is like. I think he's, like, a tomcat, basically. Mm. So he's, like, sexy, but, like, super flamboyant and stuff. And that's Kenobi, because, like, if anyone's going to be, like, gay, it's Kenobi. Uh, He gives you, like, a double kiss on, like, he, like, he, he, like, Oh, my gosh. Yeah, like, so, like, you come up to him, and he'll come, and he smooshes both sides of your face like a European. My mom calls him the European cat. And he's, like, the, and we also call him the ambassador, because (laughs) whenever we have, like, foster puppies or whatever, the other cats scat and whatever but Kenobi like marches right up to them and he smooshes them he sniffs them he lets them sniff him and then he's like all right welcome (laughs) welcome to my domain he's like I approve of you but like Kenobi's got herpes oh Oh, he's got got the feline herpes what got it when he was a kitten how it's not his fault it's not his (laughs) fault Like, feline herpes isn't, like, sexually transmitted or anything, so, like, it's, like, just one of those things. Um, so he's got herpes and he's missing all of his teeth. No, he gets, his, like, his eye will start to squint, and then he's really snotty. 
And then sometimes, well, and, and then what family. happened? Yeah. <laughs> and Does then, he have, like, medicine? Not anything? anymore. Like, he's pretty much, like, we have it under control. Yeah. But, like, he had to get his teeth pulled and stuff. Aww. He just lost one of his canines. Oh, no. <laughs> it, How old is he? He's... Is he an old boy? You know what? He might be around, like, six or seven. But he's got Aww. the same birthday as me. Oh, my God. Congratulations. <laughs> right? And today. Kenobi's. Your birthday is coming up. It sure is. The 18th. Yeah. And you know what? I don't normally, like, broadcast that. I normally don't tell people my birthday. I'm so sorry. No, it's, I just... it's so totally fine. Like, it's, like, if people know it, like, I don't care. But, like, oh, okay. Yeah. Like, I don't normally... I don't go out of my way. I'm like, it's my birth month. It's... <laughs> the whole thing is a celebration. <laughs> I... <laughs> uh... <laughs> I am a type of person to celebrate my birthday for at least a week. Well, no, maximum a week. That's I know. Fair. No, yeah. no, no, no. Like, like I this... think it'll come up in conversation like all my birthday. Like they're like, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, oh yeah, like today's my birthday. So and they're like, yeah. what? I get so excited <laughs> about my birthday. I love my birthday. I get excited too, but I get anxious, and I'm like, I don't want people to think I'm conceited or anything. Yeah, but then, I understand. And, like that. I've got like that weird like masochism thing, like where yeah. I'm like, I don't want anyone to say happy birthday to me, and then I can like hate them and resent them and. <laughs> I'm mentally ill, people. <laughs> I love it. I love it so much. Branching off of being mentally ill. <laughs> uh, as my last question, before we start to wrap this up, which have you put more thought into? Your wedding or your funeral? This question. <laughs> I never asked this question. <coughs> um, Kelsey's the perfect one. Uh, that's now. exactly what I was thinking. <laughs> Let me see if I still have it. Uh oh. Um, my funeral plan. That's pretty documented. <laughs> my funeral it's board my Pinterest. Need. It's my pre need. Um, you have a Pinterest board for your funeral? <laughs> oh, that's so good. That's so good. <laughs> the fuck? I'm finding a lot of things here that I didn't even know. What is it? It should be. For the crafty mask. Oh, come on. Where the fuck is it? Oh, I'm devastated. Because I did have a thing, um, songs to play my at my funeral. Do you? Uh, yeah. But you know what? I don't know where the fuck it is, but, yeah, so my funeral. I've definitely given more thought into my funeral. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> okay, there you go. Yeah. That's all I wanted to know. Hey, say. You did say. Who would show up? Would it, right? Would they send me flowers? <laughs> <laughs> But they cry. But okay. they cry. <laughs> that that funeral Pinterest board. Keep that in mind. Keep it in mind for the crafty mask. If, you, if yeah, you truly like want to plan no. your funeral. But now I want to know where the fuck my like like where my songs went because I had them in my notes. Can you search? I'm looking in my tw- on my Twitter because I know I posted them. I because I remember my boyfriend making fun of me about it. What was the? Give us at least like one song. The best song. Uh, uh, okay, so it was actually more of like a request. I wanted um, America the Beautiful. Sung by Ray Charles. Um, I want that to be playing, and at the same time, I wanted, like, fireworks to go over, <laughs> to be, like, going off over a field of, um, a baseball field of young boys. A baseball field? <laughs> yeah, how young? Do yeah. What age range are these boys? Uh, like, uh, like, um, I'm pulling that directly from the Sandlot. Oh, okay. So, <laughs> so you just want to, you want your funeral to be the set of the Sandlot? Not, no. No, 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 no. I just want, I want America the Beautiful to be playing, oh. and I want there to be fireworks over a baseball field of With young, young boys. boys. And How I young? So, Sandlot. like, Sandlot, Sandlot age? Sandlot. So, like, what were they, like, so like five 10 to, to like, like, 12? Yeah, yeah. You're buried Eight, under 10 to 14, plate. maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Play in the corner. This is called the heater. Yeah. <laughs> when I get cremated, uh, this is the heater. <laughs> oh my god. Love it. Alright, for my last question. Cool. <clears throat> Pick an inanimate object in yeah. this room. Okay. Declare it your arch nemesis and come up with its backstory. Fucking. Oh, you know what? Never mind. I thought Tito's was something else. <laughs> Fucking arch nemesis. <laughs> <laughs> and given its backstory, yeah. Why Church Nemesis? What, what it be, why what it's it so did to become so evil? What's its plan to take over the world? Anything in this room? Like for me, that Spyro incense burner is really calling out to me. Wow, <laughs> that that is, I didn't even see that. So like, you know, like you kudos to you. I'm not going to take that from you. Oh, you're fine. Oh, but now I gotta see. <laughs> um. 
Oh, okay, so that fucking sticky thing for the mice and the rats? I'm terribly <laughs> Yes, you are. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I have to say about that. <laughs> so is it really me that you're our chemist? You are my it's chemist. me this whole time. You are an this. object in this room. <laughs> inanimate? No, she said inanimate. So. I'll be honest, it was for the spider crickets. Okay, you, okay. But you know what? They're I mine. understand. I you have they cats. Get cross, they get caught in the crossfire. But you have cats. Yeah. Let them kill them. Yeah. No spider crickets? No, they run away. You, you know I what? tried. I placed them in front of the spider cricket. You see it in, in my house? Like, wait, I won't. You I, have pussies. I only went over, like, the personality of one cat, but funny enough, Kenobi's the one. If, like, there's a camel cricket somewhere, you just have to call him. And, from, and they'll go towards you because they're attracted to sound. And no, no, no. Oh, no, well, the that cat, too. The cat. But Kenobi, Kenobi will come from the other side of the house, and mm-hmm. he'll be like, Meh. and you're like, uh-huh. Kenobi, and he sees it, and he's like, I, and he does his thing. He'll come upstairs with, like, a leg hanging out of his mouth. Oh, my God. Slurps it up like a good old noodle. <laughs> like a old noodle. Phenomenal. <laughs> uh, no. All right. So, we have a question mm-hmm. from our last guest <clears throat> to ask you. Okay. And that question is... If you had a million dollars, okay. how would you spend it? Or would, what would you do with it? Okay. I would first um, pay off my student loans. Wonderful. Because I've only got like 10000 That's not so bad. That's not, not bad, bad at all. Because I didn't finish school. So. Mm-hmm. Uh, Always helps out. <laughs> absolutely. Drop out, guys. <laughs> Minimize your loans. It's like, like a <laughs> life hack. <laughs> life hack. Medically withdraw. <laughs> um, <laughs> Um, I would do that, and then I would, uh, I would donate some of it. Good. Yeah. Because, like, but it's a million, right? Mm-hmm. So, not a lot of it. Not just, just like, like a so. dick, because, like, I like to have money. Enough to make a dent in what you want Absolutely, absolutely. Mm-hmm. So, like, you know what? Actually, if I had a million dollars right now, I would, like, donate it, probably all of it. To like Flint, Michigan, because like that shit needs to get. It. They mm-hmm. we gotta get on. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ! Nice. Hey, Jaden Smith is working on it. I know, but like, like he's like he's introducing filter boxes. No, 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 no. Let's like fix the water. Let's yeah. like actually <laughs> let's like get actually the fix the water. Problem. That's what I would probably do if I had a million dollars, because like a million dollars, like not to. It's not a lot. No, it's not. <laughs> it's, not. No. it's not a lot. If I, mean, I had a billion dollars, that'd be yeah, now we're talking. Yeah, now we're talking. Like, a million just, like, ain't even, what it used to be. No, even it's if it's, not. like, if you have, like, ten million dollars, then it's like, okay, oh, That's now something I can do. Something. That's something I can work with, yeah. exactly. But, but like, one million? One million? You spend a dollar and you're under, you're, not to you're be, no longer a millionaire. <laughs> <laughs> not, like, not to be, like, contentious or anything. No, I'm course. not that kind of per. I mean, I'm expected to be poor. So, after all, <laughs> after all, I shop in thrift stores Mother and live in a dumpster. <laughs> <laughs> it's a cozy dumpster, though. There's doilies and. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, yeah, good. That, that's uh, no, dude, no, good. <laughs> like, that's good. That's a very. That's a good humanitarian. answer. Humanitarian answer. That's yes. a good word. No. Nancy for president. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck Trump. Let's go, Volk. Let's. Uh, you know what my last name means. What does it mean? Power dictator? I don't know. <laughs> no, it means people. That's wow. so perfect. Right? Like Volkswagen? Mm-hmm. It's the it's people the people car. wagon. Yes. Wow. Oh my goodness. Yes. Oh, I'm just always woman, learning new things. Like inherently, like a woman of the people. Just yes. That's very in your nature. In line. Right? Like, yeah. Oh, the fucking tour guide in Germany I was like, my name is Volk. And she's like, it's Folk. I'm like, well, I'm an American and I say Volk because V's aren't F's. Mm-hmm. And she got so mad. I pissed off a lot of foreigners with the way I pronounce say, things. Say, fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck, yeah. <laughs> fuck you, Inez. Her name is Inez. First of all. Inez. Well, Inez. I hope you're sleeping well. <laughs> Rotten Helen. <laughs> now, can you ask a question for our future guest? And us. And us. It and could be the same question. And y'all. And we're and just going to answer it. It's like super okay to say anything. Super okay to say yeah. anything. Okay. Please. So like I'm just like asking. Am I asking this to you guys like right now? You're going to answer yeah. it? Yeah. Right here, right now. Favorite porn type? Shit. Genre of porn? Like go to. Like if you really need to get one out, like what are you going to go to? Um. Hmm. 
I don't know. I don't really watch porn. Mm Mm-hmm. I, like, I have enough sex with my boyfriend, and also, like, I can just masturbate for 30 seconds and I'm good. Like, (laughs) oh, yeah, I know how to bang it out. Like, I don't have time to, like, make it an ordeal. Holy cow. Light some candles for yourself. Yeah, no. no. Dominique, what's yours? Do you have a specific? I like reading it. You read? Okay. See, I've gotten into that too. Uh, I've tried. I've actually done it once. Uh huh. Once. Um, but it's hard to find stuff. Like I don't That's think I know. Good. I don't know how to look for the right That's stuff. That's not like. Yeah. Like how do you look in? Like how do you look for smut? That's good. It's books. There's a yeah, lot of erotic kind of just like novels. Yeah, okay. Like fiction. Um, like fiction stories. Online, I don't know. That's kind of like. I don't know, Fifty Shades of Grey got turned into a fucking novel, and that was fucking That was fan fiction. fiction. <laughs> Harry, uh, Harry Styles fan fiction just got turned into a movie. Yes, it did. So I read that fan fiction. Wait, it was ooh. terrible. I read Wait, all of it. Wait, what movie did it get turned into? After? After. It's and the same title his, as the... Instead of his name being Harry, it's Harden. Harry. Harden. Harden. It's Harden. Hard on. <laughs> Good. Constant it's exactly like a Fifty Shades of Grey. Yeah. Deal. It's like teenager Fifty Shades of Grey. <laughs> oh my god, stop. Stop. He was in college movies. and he Whatever. was damaged. He was damaged. <laughs> the tagline of the movie. Yeah. She was in college. He was damaged. Fave porn. I'm making note for the next. Good. It What's your favorite trick. type of porn? Hmm. You know, for the longest time, it was like lesbian, like scissoring porn. Mm-hmm. These days, I'm really into <laughs> the natural male orgasm. The natural male <laughs> orgasm. Okay. What, does, that, does that mean no hand intervention? <laughs> no. Like, no. It's like it's like it's basically just like cream pies. Wow. That's just a nice Solid. way to say it. <laughs> a little Krispy Kreme. <laughs> my little, my yeah. little vanilla oh. filled. Oh <laughs> Okay, we're going to move on from this and just start saying everyone's social media. Kelsey, where can they find you on social media? Um, 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 on Facebook. My name is Kelsey Arvel. Okay. (laughs) What does the R stand for, dare we ask? Ryan. Kelsey, Ryan Vogue. R-Y or R-I? Volk. I'm sorry. It's okay. I get that a lot. Yeah, not as much as you'd think, but when it happens, I like to... (laughs) No, please. (laughs) Please. You know Mr. Schneider? Nip that shit in the You know Mr. Schneider, the stats teacher? No. He's called me Kelsey Vogue. I'm like, it's bold. It's bold. There is an L. I attended Slip Vogue, in. so it rolls off my tongue exactly. way easier, I Yeah, think. okay, see, so that, that's, that's okay. This motherfucker. Volkswagen. Just... Yes, exactly. But I also drove a Volkswagen, so I, I just can't do it out, honestly. Yeah. I drive a Volkswagen. <laughs> Love Fluffy. that. Where else can they find you on social media? Um, okay, and then on Twitter, I'm the Volkswagen. <laughs> <laughs> but it's G-G-I-N, like I'm swagging. Like, mm. not the swagging. Swagging. Yeah. yeah, swagging. And then uh, on YouTube, you can look me up. As Kelsey Volk. Okay. SoundCloud. I've got yes. some music on SoundCloud. Oh, oh my yeah. god, since you're listening to this, you can just pop right on over to hers. Kelsey Duh. Volk. Something like that. My my picture is me holding up a sign or a piece of paper that says Macbeth sucks dick. Okay. Well, we'll look for it. Look out for it. <laughs> <laughs> to suck or not to suck. <laughs> Dominic, where can they find you on social media? Y'all are interested. You can find me at Dummy Darko. That is D-O-M-M-Y underscore D-A-R-K and the number zero. That's the one. Not It's not one. It's zero. You get it. Well, Kelsey Volk of the people, it has been an absolute pleasure having you on the podcast. What about your social media, Dana? Oh, my God. I am so sorry. Okay. I'm a rude ass bitch. Yeah, yeah I can't believe I was invited to Wow, I just like fucking. Okay. <laughs> but you guys can find me on social media. Or you can find me on Twitter at Dana Renee underscore and on Instagram at Dana Renee underscore underscore. That's D A N A R E N E E underscore and on Instagram double underscore. Don't forget it. Kelsey, <laughs> before we go. You're. <laughs> <laughs> Can we get some final thoughts and things that you would like to leave the listeners with? Uh, like a message or saying? Spread your or your vocalisms. <laughs> your vocalisms. <laughs> I guess um, the one thing that I've basically been like kind of living by lately since I've quit my job is to um um if you got like goals and dreams and stuff like try to make time for them. Mm-hmm. Because, like, you'll find that you'll go really crazy if you prioritize work over that yeah. type of shit. Because mm-hmm. 
it's nuts. Yeah. It's really wild. Like, totally, wow. like, not to sound like a cliche douchebag, but totally yeah. lost myself at some point. Yeah. You forget how to take care of yourself. Absolutely. So take care of yourself. Um, nothing is more important than you. Even working yeah, with humans, like, if you work in healthcare or whatever. You still need to take care you, of yourself. Like, you can't give them the proper care if you can't even give yourself proper care. Yes, so. ma'am. True. A freaking men, sister. Yeah. And with that... We bid you adieu. Take care of yourself this week. Adieu. And we'll talk to you next week. Nice chat. We love you. Goodbye.